Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's Rose Basimra, aka Fine Girl. And I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Don't come at me. Anyway, I'm going to react to what went wrong. It's been in Dubai Expo 2020 reaction rant. It's a rant video. They said this to me. Uh, let's watch watch and see what it has. If you want to support me, become a member or donate. Thanks. Kajo Chakis. This is what we expected. Oh, I watched this. It was nice. This is what we got. This was supposed to be the world stage. But the sound kept getting cut. What happened? The organizers. It could have been iconic. I know. But last night, it was not. What happened to the sound? Like, what's up with the production? This has got to be one of the darkest hours 18 has ever experienced. And I'm sure that you know what I'm talking about. You've just seen it. I know. Right? So what Sus. the hell happened? What? Attention, uh, uh, we're, we're having technical difficulties. Pero, sobrang tagal, sobrang tagal namin inantay na makatungtong dito. A lot of fans are demanding for an explanation. In my opinion, we don't need one. Because I know exactly what happened. What I don't happened? like the sugar coat here. Someone absolutely messed up here. Of course. Real badly. Now I'm not a fan of cancel culture. And this video is absolutely not for canceling the 2020 Dubai Expo. This video is just to show you my personal take on the situation. So for the people who just missed the event, let me tell you what happened. SB19 performed live in Dubai Expo 2020. This oh. is a world stage. This can be considered as the Olympics for all performers out there of ah. different countries. So this is a big thing. This is supposed to that. be a stepping stone for SB19's quest for world domination. They received the invitation on a very short notice and they said yes to it. They literally were in the Philippines one day before. Before, okay, I'm listening to the story, but I'm also checking out his background. I'm like, hey, casual Chuck, that's a very nice background you got there. It's... It's nice anyway, let's continue. For the actual concert. So imagine how insane is that? They definitely had lack of rest. And for most artists, this short of a notice is definitely not easy. But guess what? SB19 put up a fight and showcased their showmanship. But the problem was that the technical side of things the weren't technicality. really cooperating. Exactly. <laughs> The only member I can hear clearly was Josh. I could hear Stell, but his volume is a little bit too low. And the other three, their mics were just having issues, man. Uh, like totally uh, off. Yon. Ready na ba kayo? Oh shit. What's the technical thing? It was team? definitely a cringe fest for me. Oh god, it's so nice. The they sounded like that because they didn't even have in-ear monitors so they couldn't hear themselves and considering how loud the speaker was and most especially the audience there's definitely tendency that the voice would become tone deaf you can even notice Dale trying so hard to cover one of his ears just to hear himself sing and the missing in-ear monitor just made their tempo even worse there were times that it felt like they weren't even in sync with the tempo so let me go ahead and rip the band-aid for you and tell you the bad result out of this unfortunate event because of this incident haters now have a proof or what we call recibo of sb19's bad performance for fans like us we know the story we, we know what was happening you know this um i i, I actually uh, as a new fan of of sb19 I've, I've i've i didn't see this funny fans i didn't know about this thank you for bringing this this uh uh performance to my notice um this happens 
it has happened to a lot of artists big artists at least one out of five big artists has a bad day even adele herself there's a time she she i think she had vocal problems or something but she still forced herself to perform and she sounded a bit off but she's a very good artist we all know that because we'll be like oh she cannot sing or you see the this performance is so bad what what you know a lot of people have that thing that tendency of like there's one bad performance and then they forget about all the millions of good performances everyone has a bad day it might be your voice is destroyed it might be part of the technical part of aspects it might be anything from health to technical issues to just a bad day i'm a basketball player i know there are days where you miss a simple freaking layup with no defense you miss all the shots you miss all the free throws you miss all the attempts everything it's not because you're a bad player. The other days you just shine. You can even close your eyes and throw the ball and it goes into the hole. But they're just those bad days. No one is perfect. Nothing will always go the way you want it to go. Even when they say they have bad receipts, like, I don't think that even should bother anyone. It shouldn't bother us 18. It shouldn't bother SB19. Because let's just talk reality. Everyone has, a, everyone has had a bad day here and here. Even though you're like an expert in a certain field. You're not always good 100%. It might not even be your fault that, okay, for example, right now I'm reacting. Um, my, my laptop battery is dead and maybe electricity goes as well. Maybe I'm in the middle of a show. Maybe I was live streaming and everything cuts out. My phone, my laptop, everything just, maybe I was using my laptop to go live and it cuts out. You know? And then I'd promise people that I'm going to, to go live and something happens, you know. People will be like, you know, she's a liar. What about since something happened that was beyond my control? The same thing goes with what has happened right now. I don't really take it as a big deal. I'm like, okay, things happen. We are human. Not everything is always under our control. Simple. Move on. Whoever has receipts, push them up your ass behind the scenes but how will it look like to casual viewers they don't care about what's happening behind the scene they will only care about the finished product so that True. absolutely is bad no sugar coating guys it is but... whoever fucks up behind the scenes the scapegoat will always going to be the main artist Obviously. that's why the common denominators when it comes to people who organize events is that these people tend to be perfectionists they care about the littlest things because they just can't afford to mess up and if a mess up happens it's the artist that suffers and it might have not synced in yet for most people but it will soon i'm sorry to break it up to you guys and this is what ultimately makes me sad but out of all those negative things that happen there is a silver lining sb19 was able to showcase their professionalism as you can notice they were able to conduct the show must go on attitude and they were able to pull it I off know, so they, kudos to yeah, sb19 kudos, they're definitely mature down. and this is just another part of their growth as an artist and another good thing that happened here is that they have learned one of the hardest lessons ever and the first one is to learn to say no some invitations some events might be so tempting that you'll look bad if you turn it down but sometimes you just had to for the greater good this definitely was obviously rushed so it only proves the famous quote that says timing is everything but what happened happened we can't do anything happened. about it the only thing we can do is focus on the future in order for this to be prevented in the future the management should become more strict when it comes to short notice invitations they have to list a few requirements before they say yes for example the most fundamental things rehearsal sound check voice rest and equipment calibration these things need to be guaranteed before they can even start negotiating if one of these are missing i mean you can't just afford to let your artist perform and risk hell to break loose anytime you guys get me right and i would assume that they were not able to consider those things maybe because they don't have the person who is able to do it like a quality assurance person they should have a person that goes on the site checks out the equipment the stage the arrangement everything and if it passes the standards then they can say yes they have to have that person who can guarantee that failure is never gonna happen before they can say yes to an invitation because i'm absolutely sure that bigger artists have this type of person 
And also the other lesson is something that we 18 have to learn. Mm. We have to be patient. I have been seeing a lot of bashing in social media, blaming Show BT for being so slow when it comes to world domination. You know, the rollout of things have been so slow that, you know, SP19 is missing out on something. Man, we have to trust the process. Trust it's the process. It's not an overnight thing. Not Rome because wasn't built there is an day. event going on, they have to be there already. <laughs> there are many factors that needs to align before something is made possible so we have to learn to be patient let's not pressure the management sometimes people think that they know what's best patience for is a but, but there are also times that we don't know we are already crossing the line we are fans and our job Boundaries. is to appreciate them because if we keep on doing that the Boundaries. boys are able to see it they also have social media they'll see our tweets guys and what is that gonna make them feel it's definitely gonna put a lot of pressure in them that's something that we don't want to happen i know last night was definitely one of the darkest nights we've ever had as a fandom but sp19 definitely knew what they're signing up on even before they started debuting they gave it their all from the start they might have lost first but they stood to lose and eventually they started winning and boy we won together and if we have the capability of winning together we also need to have the capability of losing together we're all in this together you guys yeah okay so what happened happened the best thing we can do is focus on the future peep up con is coming so let's make sure that whatever happens in peep up con 2022 will shine a light to the darkness that happened last night so to close this video let me go ahead and show you a few messages from our mahalima during their concert have a good day opportunity for us to meet our beloved 18. Uh, this is one of I had a bunch of friends that were there we're for the Dubai Expo, no meanwhile. I like them. We will take this opportunity because talagang kayo yung gusto namin pasalamatan. Uh, grabe yung support nyo sa grupo namin. Uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat. Nung una po, sa totoo lang, akala namin, hindi po talaga matutuloy kasi sobrang biglaan. Pero feeling ko, sigat talaga yung gumawa ng paraan para makarating kami dito. Kaya, kasi... Siguro ito na rin yung way ni God para ma mas mapakita pa sa amin na marami talaga tao naniniwala at nagsasuporta sa amin. They're good with what? I thank you guys for believing in us, for loving us, and always supporting our group. Huwag po kayo magalala kasi hanggat nandyan po kayo, mananatili kong buo yung grupo namin. Kaya maraming maraming salam sa inyo. And again, we would like to thank Dubai Expo for this. Dahil po sa inyo, nagkatotoo ang lahat ng ito. Ken, thanks na po. Um, Alam sa may sabi niya. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's to say. So brown thankful na may na natito kami ngayon. Wait na, wait na. Uh, ayun, gusto ko na sabihin sa inyo na uh, mahal na mahal namin kayo. Uh, so brown, we treasure namin kayo kasi uh, without you guys, uh, hindi magiging posible lahat ng to. And walang ulit namin sinabi sa inyo na kayo yung naging lakas namin. But today, uh, napatunayan namin na uh, gusto talaga namin pumunta dito pa para na makapag-perform kasi gusto din namin kayong makita. Maraming maraming salam po sa inyong lahat. Napangako po namin na babalik kami para makita namin kayo. Maraming 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 salam po. Mahal po namin kayo. Ito na po nagtatapos sa aming performance. It has been SB19! Maraming salamat po! Bye-bye! Salamat! Ay! Ooh! I like Salamat! Salamat! Ay! Na-na-na!
thank you very much um this video is from Kaja Chuck YouTube channel. I appreciate also the subtitles and stuff like that because, you know, as you already know, I did not understand Tagalog. Luckily, I could understand the whole of the video and <sighs> it's tough, it's tough. But sometimes we meet bumps and humps along the way to whichever destination we are going to. And it cannot all be a smooth road throughout. Smoothness throughout life is not reality. So it's just 18. Just keep positive SB19. As you saw, their final remarks, they didn't seem to be faced much by what happened. They kept a positive stance. They were professionals. And I hope deep down they are not getting so bad. I know you cannot fail to be bothered about it, but that's just trying to keep a positive mindset. I mean, like, okay, this has happened and it will be better next time. It will be bestest next time. So, thank you very much for watching. I'm Benyaga Rose, but don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm out. Some California love. I've been riding through the city in the Cadillac, getting faded off the Remy. Had a ugly low pass. Nowadays, sitting pretty. I know I made mistakes. I just.